Oh, hi again guys. Uh, this is uh, the video where I'm going to pull, I'm going to rip apart uh, one of the handles on these uh, Chinese knockoff fork Niven F1s. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Leatherman Charge TTI. Um, this one, this one's got the S33, S33, S30V blade. Um, and I think I'll, I don't think it matters which one I tear apart. I think I'll just go with this one. The one out of the leather sheath. Uh, this can go to the side for a minute. And I'm just going to get started on it and hope for the best. Um, if, you can, if you notice, I'm holding the blade out. I'm wearing these gloves for my own protection. Uh, I'll just put this one back away for a second. Um, what I'm doing is I'm holding the spine of the knife in my hand uh, between my thumb and my index finger with the blade pointing up and I'm gripping it like that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some um, pull cut technique and hold it against my chest like this and try and draw, it, draw the knife across in that direction uh, away from me uh, using the S30V blade. Um, if I can't get this one to work, if this is too small or something uh, I've got a cold steel recon scout um, which may also help um, and of course my own F1 I'm not sure how this is going to go so your guess is as good as mine it seems to be cutting okay I think I'll just take some small slices off. I'll zoom in if you want. I'll just start taking some small slices off. The reason why I'm doing this is I don't have an x-ray machine uh, to check um, whether the tang goes right the way to the end don't have access to one I'm not a doctor I don't have any of that kind of equipment lying around the house I'm trying to hold this as tight as I can but these gloves are leather gloves and they seem to slip a little bit um, so I just need to be a little bit extra careful with uh, gripping the knife like this. I've made it down to the tang. There's a small section that I've got taken out already. Hopefully you can see it there. I've taken that bit off and as you can see I'm just going off bit by bit. I'm not going to try and take it off in one go. That'll just be too, uh, too dangerous. What I'm doing is I'm not pulling this Leatherman across, I'm rather pulling this away, f pulling the fork niven away, f or the Chinese knockoff fork niven away from uh, my S30V blade. Thank you. 
All right. What I've got is I've just gone through one side and made a nice cut through to the steel when that focuses and it goes right the way through just on the edge of the tang there and I'm just going to try and lift that off That's the tang exposed. The tang of the Chinese knockoff Falkniven F1 exposed. I suspect this will just pop right off on the other side. Sure enough it does. And this rivet on this side is in the way. Just try and get more of this handle off. Getting close. And it's off. This looks like a perfectly good tang. Looks nice. Um, it may or may not be 440C steel. I have no idea. Um, it's definitely not laminated VG10. It doesn't have that lamination line as on the, uh, the real F1. Uh, and this uh, rivet uh, seems to be stuck in there. I'll have to find a way to hack that off or do something about that. For now that stays. What I'm thinking of doing is making some micata and drilling a few holes in this and making my own handle out of it. And I think it'll uh, come up really nice and uh, maybe that'll be in another video later on. But for now, um, that's the stripped down uh, Falkniven uh, F1 Chinese knockoff. Um, these this cost me sixteen dollars, sixteen Australian dollars. Uh, this one cost me fifteen Australian dollars. I mean, in comparison to mine that I got for one hundred and thirty from Knife Ship Knife Ship Free um, a few years ago, that was on special as well. By the way, they generally go for. 230 240 something like that and then plus shipping and uh, shipping to Australia isn't cheap um, It is a sharp knife the tang looks very solid. It doesn't look like that. There's any weld marks in between there uh, It does look like a solid knife if you are uh, Interested in where I got it from uh, these came from aliexpress.com.au that's a l i e x p r e w -S, s dot com dot a u, um, and I just did a search for Falkniven F one, and these results came up. Uh, the prices generally fluctuate between, you know, thirteen or fourteen dollars uh, up to about twenty or twenty five dollars, and for that price, for a for what could possibly be four forty c stainless steel. I think that's a bargain and I think it's definitely worth paying the Chinese knockoff uh, Falkniven F1 especially if the Tang is a solid one like this and not a um, not some cheap imitation with a bit sticking out the end just to make it look like a, uh, a Falkniven F1. As I said it's not welded in the middle there it seems pretty sturdy and uh, maybe one and uh, maybe in a future video 
I'll uh, get a handle made up out of this, maybe out of some dem denim micata or something. We'll find out about that. We'll try and work that out a bit later. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, for for watching, uh, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and uh, hope you enjoy uh, your day. Thank you.